Hi there, and I'm back again to do another quick demonstration and run through of uh, just setting up some simple list lookups uh, for Logger uh, 6, just to show the power of some of the functionality and flexibility that we've got in there. So, uh, so we need to have a look at what we got and what the data is, and let's just run through a few searches. So uh, I've just this is the summary to start with. And that's great. So let's just jump in uh, and go to the uh, lookup lists uh, and what's going on here. I've actually added them. I'm not going to run through the, the the process of adding them, but uh, I've got a couple of uh, lists in there. They're actually the the HP uh, Enterprise Security Products uh, Security Analysis uh, list that we have ourselves. Um, what it, the important thing here is it's not just an address or it's not just a domain it actually includes some classifications in there of, of what type of, uh, of data it is uh, so if you want to do this yourself you probably want to include some of this additional data as well uh, because it's going to add more meaning and v validity to the information um, as before uh, it's only going to display the top 10 here it's not the entire list so so clearly uh, that's not an issue we can support up to uh, 5 million entries in a single list as well so no particular issue there so uh, that's the malicious IP one and then there is the, the the domain one which is just the same except with domain names in there okay right so that's okay so actually now we want to do is uh, start looking at some of the searches and, and understand what's going on so it's just do a, a, a simple search and see the data so there's lots of information there lots of data okay uh, what we're interested in is uh, where my internal traffic on my network is going outside so it's trying to communicate to the outside world in an, a malicious or, or threat IP address okay so we can do a search there so destination address let's just do the IP addresses to start with um, but I want to know what I'm going to uh, and, and actually I want to make sure I have valid uh, information in there in the first place uh, notice actually it does a pre-search here so it's actually populating this for you so this is most recent data and it's going to do that for you uh, but actually I'm going to use a special operator here which is is not null so any any event data uh, that's that's uh, got an actual destination address in there do the search Okay, now of course uh, it's returning the most recent data first, so uh, nice, quick, simple search there. But the issue there is a, is a whole bunch load of uh, internal arc site uh, information in there as well. So actually, I probably want to exclude that uh, and do and uh, device vendor is not equal to arc site. So let's just exclude. Uh, the arc site events as well so uh, basically just in a search there of all data uh, where we've got a, a destination address uh, and it's not an internal event so there we go that's a whole bunch of events there okay that's useful now we actually we want to start doing the lookup uh, so in this case we want to uh, pipe that into the lookup function uh, and then in this case we want to do the malicious uh, IP one for the, for the actual list it is in there uh, the uh, field was the address and as in this case it's the destination address in the actual event I'm going to look at and what we want to do is we, we want to output what type this is as well so exploit type uh, we'll just do a quick search on that and hey presto we end up with a bunch of, load of information and, and of course the important thing here is is actually going to display uh, the uh, destination address but it's also going to display the the uh, exploit type here as well uh, rele relevant data as well now that's useful okay now we're starting to get somewhere but actually we probably want to put that into uh, a chart so we can understand what the data is as well so I'm actually going to chart this out now so chart count as yeah give the the, the counter logical name count uh, and then we're going to do uh, put some data into that chart so we want to do by uh, destination address and exploit type uh, and of course we need to define that this has come from the uh, lookup list itself so we do the little underscore in there and then we do the malicious so it's the first six characters uh, and uh, we've got the first six characters there one two three four five six uh, we'll just do that search and then hey presto we now have a nice little table that's listed out uh, of the relevant data uh, across 24 hours uh, of, the of the information there so we can see if there's uh, some misuse and some spam and the uh, malware as well so actually we probably want to uh, make much more use of this now so let's just save that uh, I actually can put this in a dashboard because it's going to be a little bit more useful now so this is 
th threat IP uh, chart. Uh, the search is threat IP lookup. Look up. Uh, and I'm going to put that into my existing traffic analysis table. Uh, I'm actually going to do it as a chart um, and uh, I want to display the top 10. Uh, note that in this case I'm doing a, a chart so I can actually increase that number whereas with the top it just gives you the top 10 unless you explicitly define that in the search query. So in that case uh, I'm going to do that as a chart. I'm going to add that into that dashboard. Uh, but of course not only that is I do also have a uh, malicious domain as well so I can actually do something on that one as well so again I want some key data here so destination host name is not null so again I'm using my my, my special lookup here uh, for that so destination host name is not null so this is anything any events that have got a destination host name in there and we've got some events that's useful oh, okay great there's a load of bunch load of data in there now we want to look this up in the list so we want to do look up malicious domain uh, the the field information is domain and we want to map that with the as destination host name uh, and we want to output what that is uh, mapped to X exploit type uh, helps if I get the little out put exploit type there we go and so there we have uh, the search and it's come back with some uh, information in there so we've got the destination where it's going to for the domain uh, and then we've also got the uh, the categorization the exploit type in this case there's a, some, a bunch of little spyware and a bit of malware in there as well okay so that's useful but we really want to put that into a chart so in this case we want to uh, chart uh, count as count to give it a logical name for the chart uh, and then we want to do that by destination host name so where we're going to uh, and we'll get the type in there as well which is the exploit type and then of course we need to because it's come from a list we need to define that which is mel issue first six characters and there we go we do the search and we get the uh, chart back and the hey presto we have all the names uh, I'm running on limited real estate so uh, it's got a limited set of uh, views there that's just for visibility that's just for the for the dashboard itself here so what I want to do here is I want to save that again I want to save that as a dashboard panel so this is uh, threat domain chart dashboard panel this is the threat domain lookup look up uh, I'm going to put it into my traffic analysis dashboard I'm going to put it into a chart and there we go save that and hey presto we've done that so if I jump to my dashboards now and I go to my traffic analysis dashboard uh, it's going to load up the uh, dashboards uh, accordingly uh, let me just refresh that one to make sure it gets the relevant data it is the first time we've run it and hey presto we'll end up with our data there we go so of course that doesn't look a great layout for there so we can actually just uh, change the layout there and actually I want to uh, put uh, put that there and save that and there we go there's our dashboard so now we have a breakdown of our TCP uh, protocols we have a breakdown of our uh, UDP protocols going out to the outside world we also have a breakdown of domains that we're talking to and IP addresses that we're talking to as well that are being looked up on uh, threat lists accordingly so of course in this particular one you know I'm looking at this saying well it's malware uh, there's an IP address there and again I can just click it and drill down and get to that data uh, so from uh, a very simple setup we've done uh, lookup lists we've done the searches we've added those to dashboards and now we have a really good view of what's actually going on mapping that to additional information and data uh, to see what uh, what, what the particular threats and uh, issues are uh, that's about it thank you very much